Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be working on uh, Ian's real parts Obi-Wan Saber. Um, I need to make those resistors fit inside the washers a little bit better. And I'm also gonna be cutting down the, the threaded rod to the close to the correct length. Um, and we're also gonna polish the cone for a real um, balance pipe, but we don't have a real balance pipe yet but we're gonna bounce or we're gonna polish that cone and make it nice and shiny so um yeah let me let me deal with these washers we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of ghetto lathing all right so here's what we got we got this resistor that's a <clears throat> it's got a threaded insert into the bottom of it that's a real resistor cap and we got a washer here this is not a romans washer it's a little bit different um it's flat on the bottom it's not beveled in words i do have a romans one around here somewhere So you can see they're a little bit different. Not that it's better or worse, it's just this is what I think we're going to run with because what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the lip of this and we're going to shave it down like half a millimeter. And then it should fit, it should sit right in there. So now I've got to cut off this excess threaded rod. Um, I'm going to leave it just a touch long because we don't have a real balance pipe yet. And when we are, do have one, we have that cone to adapt it to the Obi-Wan Saber here. I don't know if it needs more or less. So I'll leave it just a hair long, but I'm going to get rid of the, I don't know, inch and a half excess that we have sticking out. Um, just trim it up a bit. 
so it's it's no big deal to cut it shorter later it's just it's gonna be harder to make it longer <laughs> pretty well um, I'm gonna chamfer this end I don't have a chamfer bit that can do this type of chamfer I got one that can do the inside of a hole but not the, the threaded rod so I'm gonna stick it in the drill press and get a lathe it again with the with a file All right, so the rod's too long, so I have to run it through the table and work on it on the bottom. Okay, let's slap this thing back together before we move on to polishing this piece. Because we're not gonna need that piece. that pretty well it's a little bit long which is exactly what we wanted um, because it can be cut down later a little bit more um, just can't add length later so that that's ideal um, for now this is done until we can get a real balance pipe um, but in the meantime I'm gonna prep this part for the one day that we do get the balance pipe and the only thing I'm gonna do to it is polish the inside here um, there's a little bit of rust on it right now, a little surface rust. It's kind of accumulated because the oils have evaporated. Um, so I'm going to give it a little rub down to get that rust off and then see about making it really shiny.
All right, it's pretty shiny right now, but I think we're gonna go for shinier. Um, I've got a little buffing bit here and a uh, little bit of rubbing compound, um, polishing compound, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what it can do. All right, so calling this part done, it's pretty shiny now. Um, it doesn't pick up very well on the camera. Shiny metal never really is easy to pick up. But um, yeah, it looks good. It got really hot when I was polishing it. <laughs> I had to let it cool off a little bit. Those are all for um, Ian's real parts of Obi-Wan Saber. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Check out the blog, propchopshop.com. Hit me up on Facebook or the RPF. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.